What is it guys, Mindbush here bringing you some informational a video basically about Call of Duty and its future and what's changed. I'm going to get straight into it. Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 and onwards is going to be on PS4 exclusive first basically. So that means the game's going to get released the same time as PC and Xbox, like it always has. But instead of Xbox getting DLC and betas first, PS4 are getting betas and DLC first. So the PS4 cut Black Ops 3 beta that I have access to because I've pre-ordered the game. I'm going to have... Um, PS4 people are going to be able to get that early, which is super, super cool, as well as the DLC. Now, as you guys may know, I've been PS4 and PS3 all the way. I don't hate Xbox. I've always considered buying one so I can play with you subscribers. But I've never got around to doing it because I I don't see the point of getting it when a lot of my subscribers are on PS4 anyway. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys are on Xbox as well, and I just don't feel like you know I don't I don't want to have to get used to a different console. Basically, um, I like Xbox. Like you know, I have no problem with it. I play I play PC, so you know. But my overall view on this was either obviously the big announcements or big hints were given when. The uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 trailer had no Xbox um, branding. E3, there's no branding. Um, you know, there was playing on uh, Black Ops. There was playing Black Ops 3 on PS4s at the like first release, where all the big YouTubers went. So there's a lot of hints that it was gonna be either a you know no no uh, no exclusivity or to PS4. Um, I would have you know preferred it to be. No exclusivity, so PC, Xbox, and PS4 all get DLC at the same time, and all get uh, beta at the same time because it's better for YouTube, and it's better for overall community because you don't have people saying, "Oh yeah, well PS4 get DLC early now." Oh yeah, well Xbox got DLC early. You know, it's it gets a bit bitchy and uh, a bit annoying, but basically. It'd have been cool to have it all at the same time on YouTube aspect, you know, you can upload videos at the same time with people who have Xboxes and PS4s, but it's been announced PS4 will get exclusivity rights basically first, which is, you know, it's been, what, seven, eight years since Xbox first started getting exclusive from COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Ghosts, and... Advanced Warfare, I believe, so that's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Call of Duties Xbox has had the DLC first, so I think it's time to give Sony and PlayStation the uh, benefit of a doubt and let them have some exclusivity for, you know, for a bit. My my like, overall view is it's not going to last as long as Xbox had it, and I think eventually it's going to become joint um, decision, but it might, it might, that's just my overall perspective of what's going to happen you know it might be four four years maybe if that and then it might go evened out but obviously it's more, from a business perspective ps4 has sold 10 million more units than xbox more nearly double i believe the figures are 22 million ps4 sold maybe a bit more xbox was 12 million maybe a bit more i think and we were something like 8 million i think when i looked at it i'm not too sure about the stats don't uh don't quote me on that, but I believe it was something like that. So obviously from a business perspective, you're going to have more people playing Call of Duty on PS4 than you will Xbox. Um, just because of the overall mass market. And obviously if you're basically advertising exclusivity rights on PS4, people are going to want to buy it more on PS4. You know, that's a business perspective. That's why Xbox did it. That's why Xbox was the big, big console uh, from 360 to PS4. You know, they was fairly even, to be fair. I'm not too sure about the stats on that. But I know more people played Call of Duty on Xbox than they did PS3, I believe. And that was one of the main reasons. It was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get Xbox, so I get DLC early. Now, it might switch around, but I know not too many people are bothered. Call of Duty has toned down a lot over the past, you know, two, three years. It's died out a bit, I'll admit that. So, it's not too big of a deal for the seller perspective from Sony and Xbox. You know, they're not going to lose out on sales or anything, really. Uh, it's just a nice... Thing to have for the PS4, and it's a nice thing to now have. We're sticking for Sony so long, so you guys who have been supporting Sony through all the way, and you guys that have switched from Xbox to PS uh, Port 4 from the Xbox 360, then you're gonna still have the exclusivity rights. So basically, it's you know it's 
it's bad that not all of us get to play the DLC first and stuff on the beta. It is. I would like it so everyone can be a community and the COD community c can come together and all enjoy the experience at the same time. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not going to be like that, and it's going to be PS4 with the exclusive throughout this year round. Um, in the E3 announcement, they did say from now and onwards, like it was going to be in the future, like it's going to be, you know, for the years coming. So anyway, hope this gives you guys in kind of insight and information about the exclusivity rights now, and it's gave my overall perspective. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Please leave a like and a comment. Don't hate on my video or anything because it's not. You know, it was just letting you guys know what's going on and, you know, why it's super exciting news for some people and super depressing news for some people, basically. I just want to keep you guys informed. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please leave a comment of what you think, like the video, and subscribe for more Call of Duty and other gameplay videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.